Oi, come in, make yourself at home, laddie. Hey, Willie, how you doing? Hey, everybody, welcome back to Bluegrass Farm with me, your host, Hill Hum. I got a couple things I want to get done. All right, we're going to need some of this, I'm thinking. I would like to have at least one, maybe two of those, which means we need to be able to access the east side of the beach, which means we need 300 wood. We also have to water our crops, and we have lots of energy stored up, and we need to go fishing. But first, let's see what's going on over here. What do we got? The Queen of Sauce. Stir fry. We know how to make that. Now, fortune teller is neutral. And the weather report for tomorrow, clear and sunny. Okay. Our axe is being worked on. I uh, lost my lucky purple shorts. I'm telling you because I think I can trust you. If you find them, bring them back to me discreetly. I will pay you well. <laughs> Excellent. I do enjoy the words, I will pay you. That's Those are good words to hear. Do, you, do I need to hear all those words exactly? Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> Please pay me, is what I'm trying to say. Oh, there's our other chicken. Hello, Dot. How are you today? Exciting stuff on the farm yesterday. We did get a dinosaur egg. That was pretty great while fishing. Always love to get an early dinosaur egg. It, it makes uh, my mother very annoyed every time it happens. <laughs> love you, Mom. And uh, she does watch all the videos. She hangs out in all the live streams. I have the coolest mom in the world. And we all know it. It's okay. Your mom can be the coolest, too. But for myself, my mom is the coolest. Of course. Of course. People ask sometimes, like, you know, because I... I've been live streaming for like 12 years now, I think it is, and YouTube's been much more of a recent, uh, a recent focus in life, you know, to like deliberately make videos and content for, but somebody, you know, somebody asked not that long ago, like, hey, how did you get started and all that? Like, why do you, why did you do it? Like, what motivated you to get going and, and all that? And so like way back in the early days, the early days of the website known as twitch.tv um, I had just caught wind of justin.tv and then it shut down and became twitch okay so let's just put this into perspective as the timelines and um, anyway so I watched a bunch of the early big streamers like man vs game uh, was one big one that I watched a lot I watched a lot of starcraft 2 coverage back in the day um, anyway and I I got watching that, and I was like, you know, I'm not saying I'm the most entertaining person in the world. Uh, that is certainly not the case. But I am occasionally funny. Stupid things happen to me when I play games. And uh, when I was a kid, my mom and I used to really enjoy spending time uh, playing games together. So she would play, and I would watch, or I would play, and she would watch, and... We would give each other suggestions of like things to try in the game and all that kind of stuff. And so I, I said to my mom one day, I was like, hey, mom, like there's this thing called Twitch and they play games there and anybody can watch. But like, what do you think if I streamed? Would you watch? And she was like, oh, that sounds like a lot of fun. That'd be like when, when you were younger and we, we could hang out and like I could hang out and watch you play games and stuff. And that'd, that'd be pretty cool. And I was like, yeah, you know, I'm like, that'd be awesome. So. Anyway, as an only child, you know, spending time with your with your parents is important. I think it's important for any child, but especially as an only child. So I was like, you know, I think I'll do that. I that'll be a good way to hang out with mom still. And, you know, she can hear funny stories from my day without me having to, you know, call her every day. Although I do still call her almost every day anyway. And, uh, talk to my dad decently, frequently as well. And anyway, um, so... So yeah, so that's that's sort of how it all got started, and then uh, then COVID hit. Of course, the bad word, the c word, the, the disease came, and uh, I had some bonus time, and I was like, well, you know, I have been really thinking about YouTube, trying out YouTube for a long time. So during the initial lockdown stuff, I I uh, I spent a lot of time looking up like decent and cheap video editing software and kind of how to like use it uh 
in a very basic fashion. I would say I have not really progressed beyond the basics, okay? Like, I'm not saying my video editing skills are top-notch, but it gets the job done for what I want it to do. And uh, anyway, so I did all that during, during the initial shutdown phases, and then um, when I felt like I was good to go and kind of knew what I was doing and, and knew what I wanted to do and you know kind of long form videos where I just chat with the audience and uh, hope you all guys have a, have a great day listening to my <laughs> random stories and the nonsense of my life and um, that's sort of where it all got started and from now from there to now it has just uh, grown um, we hit a little bit of a lull there in channel growth which we were sort of equalizing plateauing if you will um, and uh, now with the 1.6 update, we are skyrocketing back. Uh, so many new subscribers and new members and just a huge bump in support with 1.6. So thank you all very much for being here for that. Being a part of that, uh, watching the videos, telling your friends. You know, I appreciate all of those things a great deal. More, more than I could ever really express. And uh, yeah, that's 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 kind of how it all came to be. That's, that's how it all came to happen so now you know in case you've never heard those stories before now what do we need for the community center we don't need spice berries we need a sweet pea so we have some regular ones here maybe we'll bring a regular one instead not that it matters what am I gonna do with I guess we could eat the spice berries too huh you know we're gonna need first of all we're gonna need more wood but <laughs> But second of all, we're going to need another chest. Any more chests. All right, we do need to take all 10 of this moss to the community center. We can put those away. Stack that in there. Let's organize this chest so we know what's going on. Yeah, this is energy too. Oh, we got a lot of energy just like... Look at all this energy just sitting everywhere. All right, can we just go... Maybe we put the energy in here. Let's, let's energize our life over here. If you're energy, I want you in here. Okay, we've got those. That should be plenty for today. So do we go mining today? Is that is that what we do? I'm going to sell this one. Um, well, no, because we... I don't know. Do we, do we need summer scenes? Like, what... What do you even get? Like, blackberries, isn't it? We should get in the fall anyway, so that's not a big deal. Okay. Well... Let's grab our weapons. We we'll just bring our sword. Is that you know what? Let's bring all the weapons that we don't need. We'll sell some of them back to uh, back to Marlin. We're gonna need the pickaxe, of course. Okay, so let's yeah, let's reorganize a little bit here. No, that's that's fine. Okay, community center, community center, Gunther, 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 energy, build the thing on the beach. All right, cool. Sell the sweet pea, yes, beautiful. And we're out. So do we go, yeah, I think we go to the beach. Oh, you know, we could save ourselves some time. Hang on. Hang on. I remembered, I remembered we have the warp totem that we got for free. So let's go do all the stuff in the south of the map, and then we'll just warp to the top. Hey, look at me thinking things through for once. All right, we're going to Gunther first. And on our way, we're going to check and see if there's anything new on the board. There is not. What do we have here? Jazz's birthday's tomorrow. Now, Jazz loves plum pudding, which I have no way of getting. There's got to be something else that she loves. Do I know what that is? No, I do not. Does that mean that I might take a quick little second and look it up eventually? Yes, that is what that means. <laughs> okay, Gunther, how you doing? Here we go. Let's put some green items over here just because I can. And uh, the shell. Yeah, let's, let's put the shell over there. <gasps> a new reward, Gunther? Gunther, you're so nice. You know what we need to plant? We need to plant the starfruit. 
Right? And don't we have like nine melon seeds in a chest also from Gunther already? Or did we not get the starfruit one yet? <sighs> Maybe we didn't get the starfruit yet. Hmm. Hello there. Oh my goodness. Another artifact. Glass beads. I'm going to grab these clams, although they're only worth like two cents. I'm not sure why I'm going to grab them, but here we are. Come to me, clamshell. Yes, I will waste, quote unquote, 300 wood on this. It's okay. We'll be able to get more wood soon because we're upgraded, upgrading our axe right now. No urchins, sadly, but we did get some coral, which I will need. And if we can get to Willy before he runs away from his store, we can sell all this stuff real fast right now. Which would be a big boon to me in my life. Hey, Willy. I got some stuff for you. Oh, what? Ah, Holly! Oi, come in, make yourself at home, laddie. Hey, Willy, how you doing? Let me just rub my hands on this here. Aye, oh, that's good stuff. The fish go crazy for it. Uh, you just wash your hands after dipping them in them juices there. They are almost been known to linger for up to seven weeks, lad. Ah! That's not great, Willy. So you've been catching a lot of fish. I have, in fact. I, a vast quantity. Yes. Big hearts. Aye, a man after me own art. Well, I try my best. Well, you can always trust the fishermen. Well, that's what me old pappy used to say. <laughs> well, keep going if you can catch every fish in these waters. I got a special prize waiting for you. That would be nice to have. Oh, well, uh... Everything okay? I well, business has been a bit tough lately, uh... All started about the same time the old community set or fell to ruin. Me fish just don't sell like they used to. Been working double time just to make ends meet. I feel that. I feel that. No time for my own projects, but if things pick back up around here, I might have some time to show you something. Yeah, she's back there, an old friend seen better days. What what would that be, Willie? Someday, lad, you'll see what I mean. Well, I see the picture on the wall right there. It looks like a houseboat. Do you have a houseboat? Are we going on vacation? Right, let's sell the things that we don't need. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Owile. Oh, increases the size. Okay. Trout soup might be nice. Tuna bait. Ooh. I, I do need some tuna. Um, Boy, that's actually slightly tempting. Yeah. Well... We're not going to do it, but that, that was a temptation. Do enjoy catching the tuna. And back we go over to Gunther, and then to the community center, and then do we even use the warp totem at that point? I don't know. I mean, it would be fun just to do, <laughs> just to use it, but. Donate, yes. Uh, I tend to put these by the items that are blue just because it's also bluish. I mean, I, I I always start the community center with a system, the community center, the museum with a system of like where I put items and then by the end I'm just like, whatever, just, just go in there somewhere. I don't even care anymore. And that's usually how that ends up. That is usually <laughs> how that ends up. Aha! Oh, another one! It's artifact day. It seems like, as I play this game, there's just days periodically that end up as artifact days. Now, is the moss down here, or is it up there? I'm, I'm not sure. Forest, here we go. Bundle complete. Excellent. What do we get for that? We got a charcoal kiln. That's not that exciting, actually. What do we need for summer? The sweet pea, perfect. And a grape, oh, it's a grape. A grape. Not too hard to get that. All right, uh, those are much more annoying, however. 
need my trees to grow up so I can slap some tappers on them. Yes, indeed. Okay. Well, that was a good time. Yeah, I guess, I guess we do just... Meow. All right, Marlin. I'm coming for you. I got some stuff I need to sell. And oh my goodness, what I would do for coffee in my life right now. Hello, Marlin. I have some things to sell, like the rusty sword. 200 for that dagger. Hmm. What are you worth? 150. 150. Hmm. Let's just look here. 4 to 10, lots of crit. Lots of speed. You know what? I think I think we're just yeah. Thank you. I appreciate the crystal dagger and all, but I'm okay. Templar's Blade, not terrible, but who wants to spend 4,000 on that when you just get more items when you go through the mines anyway, like, you know? Okay, speaking of going through the mines, let's, uh, let's grab some mayonnaise real fast. And I'm not sure that we're going to be able to make it down five floors, but uh, we will certainly try to do something here. Even if all that we accomplish is getting a dwarf scroll. Okay, well, I'd say that worked out great. Oh, perfect. Lots of little dust friends. Hello, dust sprites. Hello. Thank you for participating in this thing that we call life. That's a diamond. That's a staircase. Uh, I would like the diamond, please. Oh, we leveled up mining, it seems like. Pretty sure that was mining and not combat. There is more iron. Come to me. Come to me, iron, my precious. My precious iron. Which we will need to make sprinklers. That's what we need it for. Aha! Whap! Push you away for a second. Whap, whap. Whoa, bam! Oh, it only hit once. Oh, nope. You probably can't attack the ghost with the charcoal and kill him. Hill home. Although, that would be pretty funny. Grab this. Ignore you. Go over here. I was hoping for a staircase out of that ghost. It's only 8.30, like, it's, if we find another staircase fast enough, we might actually be able to get to 70. I would be excited by that. To 70 when we get to ghosts, not ghosts, uh, skelly boys? So is that, is that where skelly boys are? Maybe. Hey, Bat, could you, like, turn into a staircase? No? Shame. Do I have, uh, iron? Uh, oh, I do. Oh, we could. <gasps> but we don't have the recipe. Oh. I was going to say, I could make a bomb, and that would be easier, but then we don't actually have the recipe for that yet. Never mind. I can't make that. I am cursed with the gift of bomb-making knowledge in the game, and I cannot utilize it because we do not have the recipe. <laughs> Yay, dust sprites. Hello, friends. Would one of you like to kindly become a staircase? I would be excited. Ah, mixed seed. Uh, is there anything I want to drop for... Oh, hello. What is this? A decorative lantern? Uh, you know, as cute as that is, I, I don't... I don't think we care about the sap. Never mind. We had sap. We'll, we'll get rid of the sap. We have, we have sap at home. The sap we have at home, but then it's just like a deformed... To form sap. Oh look, we already we already have that weapon. In fact, we're holding on to it right now. Right, now we will get rid of that. And then what else do we toss aside? Slime, maybe, and we'll eat the carrots. Yes. Okay. And there's a bat. Very nice. Staircase. Perfect. And then now we can just 
get another staircase and some coal. I mean, I'm not gonna argue with coal, really. Is that a second dwarf scroll of the same type? Oh, that's only sad because it's the same one. And a chest. Oh, what do we throw out for the chest? You know what? Nothing. We'll just come back later. It'll just wait there for us. We don't have to grab it right now. Hill hum, you don't have to be greedy. You can just, you can chill. It's Stardew, okay? You don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't have to be a high energy game, okay? It could just be relaxing. <sighs> deep breaths, deep breaths. <laughs> what is this? Is that, a, is that a spice berry or something? Uh, maybe? Oh, there's a grape there. Ooh. You know what? I am going to toss aside that for the grape because I do want to take that to the community center and finish that bundle. That's lovely. Right. So where do we put the charcoal? I guess I just slap it there because I don't have anywhere else to put it. Put the wood back where it goes. Let's put the coral over here. Um, we can... We're gonna I'm gonna split those up because we don't need two, or do we? Is the is, is the green one the one that the that the lava eels like? Mm, don't remember. Don't remember. <laughs> Watering can, perfect, excellent, amazing. Oh, yes. So much energy everywhere, yes. Oh, here we go, here we go. Yeah, melon seeds and fall. Well, that's fall, but that's summer. And that's summer. Okay, so we need to plant those somewhere. Uh, I think we have time right now. And we'll just, we'll just water them. You know, just every morning. No big deal. Put them by this handy dandy scarecrow we have right here. Excellent. Right. Well, time to hit the hay. Punch, 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 punch. Sleep, yes. Okay, more gems or more ore? Hmm. I do like bonus gems because it is bonus money. But we need ore right now pretty badly. So I'm going to take ore. We will switch that later. We will switch that later. I don't know when later. Probably year two sometime. But I do need the ore. Our axe is ready. Fortune teller today is good humor. Living off the land. Dorado found in the forest rivers during this day. Rainbow trout, forest rivers, and in the mountains. Puffer fish in the ocean, and octopus in the ocean as well. Weather report, beautiful and sunny. Okay. So. First things first, chickens. Hello, chicken. I think I actually beat the chickens over here. That's funny. Now. We really do need more money. Because we need some we need some animals. I don't really have a lot. I don't really have a lot that we can I mean there are some things we could sell. Uh we're not gonna store Jade up right now. Okay, we'll just sell a bunch of extra gemstones. I do want to be able to quick stack them. Let's do five here. Five there and one quartz. And we will take care of that. And then what? One, one, and one? Right? All right, we have one sprinkler. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Excellent. Good morning, Tiger. How are you today? And we will sell some of these that 
we don't need. Could we use some as gifts? Yes, but we will get more, never fear. And we'll get the Crystallarium eventually. We'll just clone whatever we need for a while, so. That's perfectly fine. Now, whenever those are done up there, uh, current smelting order, we will be able to very easily build a second sprinkler today. So we're gonna, we're just gonna, you know what? I wonder, can I put this in the middle of the hops? Can I, with the mouse, can I? Oh, I was hoping. All right, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> it's a shame. You actually have to be like right next to it. Well, you know, we tried. It was worth the attempt. I didn't figure it would work, and I know when I planted it that way, I said I'm going to probably have to water this myself manually. But still, but still, you know, there's a part of you that just has hope, even though you don't think it'll work. And uh, that's pretty much how that went. And we do it to go pick up our axe today. And then, uh, really, what we need to do is just chop down a whole bunch of trees. We have to level up our foraging skill. I need to get to lightning rods before it starts raining lightning on us. Also, I need a battery for the community center, and that's kind of important to me. So we're going to try and make that happen. So I think what we'll do is we'll probably go down into the woods uh, over by the wizard's tower there and we will start removing trees there I also want to check the beach while we're down because maybe we can get a sea urchin and then we could build some bait making uh, devices well one anyway I think we need one more one more uh, coral for that as well. So I, do I have to go today to look at the beach? No, I think we'll go Saturday. I think that should be close enough. We do need more water. So yeah, I was right. It's about, what, two and a half watering cans a day for what we're doing? That's not bad. And as we get lower into the mines and we can start really farming ores... We can start farming gold and uh, iron. Uh, we have... I think I have enough quartz right now to make enough refined quartz for all of this. Which will work out great for fall. So as long as we can get at least this many done for fall, I think we're in a really good place. So what's the other goals? What's the other main goal? Um, let's just look at the community center tab for a second. So this is what we need to get done. So we need to be able to brew some of those things, which means I need to make a beehive or two. Not too bad. Uh, getting the animals done, we need to upgrade the coop twice at least. Um, and the barn once, right? Yeah. The crops, I don't think, will be an issue. Yeah. It's just the animals that'll be tricky because that is reliant on money. And money is, as you may have noticed, one of the harder things in this version to get to. Mainly because it's only half income. Okay, so what does that mean today? Do we... It's later in the day. I don't think I want to go fishing this late in the day. So let's maybe go back to the mines today. But we need wood. You know what? Let's let's focus on wood. Yeah, let's Let's focus on that. We'll have the axe in a second. We've got mayonnaise for energy. We can drop these things off over in town. Okay. It's good to have a plan. Uh we need foraging. So got to get that done. Now, is our energy that low because we went to bed so late and we didn't have a full bar of energy? Or is it that low because we actually watered that many crops? I'm not sure, in all honesty, what the answer to that is. Because you know what? I didn't pay any attention to that. 
Should I have? Probably. You know what else we might want to grab? I might want to just run back through the farm and grab like the scythe or something. Because there will be um, bushes down in the in the south woods there that we'll want to take care of. Okay, summer forage. Perfect. Perfect. That's done. That should give me summer seeds. Excellent. That's three left for that. I'm not worried about getting that done. That is the bridge over to the quarry. I think the only thing we need for the blacksmith bundle is the battery, and then we'll have the mine cars, and that significantly makes life easier. It gets a lot easier to get over to Clint's, and it gets a lot easier to get to the mines. All right, what do we got? Looking for a grape. Ooh. Okay, if I can find another grape, I will be very glad to bring you one. Do I anticipate being able to do so? Well, there might be one in Cinder Sap Woods, actually. Now, what do we need? What's our next? What's our next big step? What do we upgrade next? Either the pickaxe or the axe. And I'm, boy, that's a tough one. That is a tough one. Let's put that there, and we'll put the scroll. Let's put the scrolls over here. Now, you may be wondering and saying to yourself, why is that a tough one to decide? Well, here's why. Uh, clearly, we need to upgrade foraging to level 6. And if we could break down stumps, hardwood stumps and logs, that would make life a lot easier to get to. I know to break the logs, I... Yeah, you need at least iron, pretty sure. So that becomes important. Also, it would allow us to get into the secret woods then with that upgrade. And that would let us uh, get the wood skip and also mushrooms that are growing in there. I don't think we need fiddlehead ferns for anything, but there are mushrooms throughout the year. There's also tree stumps in there, of course, that regenerate and supply uh, a nice source of experience every single day. So that's, you know, that's just important to get. Right, one of you, one of you, and we will make another sprinkler. I'll go put that in place. Drop those wherever they may fall. I don't need this magnet ring, and I don't think it's worth selling. I think it's only worth 50. I'm not that interested. Okay, so what do we bring? Let's bring the pickaxe and uh, the scythe with us as well. Okay. And over here, I think what we'll do is we will put this second sprinkler right there. Okay, that's one, two, three. That's six rows less that we have to water every day. Now, can I can I break a stump? Yes, perfect. I mean, it will take a little bit, and we won't get a lot of hardwood, but... But, this is good experience. Now, I think I want to leave that stump. I like the aesthetics. These stumps up here, though, we do not need. In, in our nice little grass tree growing area. We do need to have some mayonnaise. Okay. Okay. Beautiful. Uh, we did get a mahogany seed. I do like having those. I would love another one, actually. We're going to keep the barn there? I don't think so. We are going to need to move the barn at some point. I mean, I could move the coop also, but I kind of like having the chickens right where they are. Yeah, that needs to go away. Yep, that too. No volunteers right now, please. Thank you, game. 
So when I said we were going to go to Cinder Sap Forest, what I meant was we were going to chop down stumps on the farm and hope that this is enough to level up our foraging skill. <laughs> Will it actually be enough to level up our foraging skill? Mm, I have my doubts. But maybe. There's a lot of good stuff up here. Gotta clear all this out. We have not been up here at all yet. Perfect. Lovely. Oh, did I get that or not? I don't know. Not sure. Alright, there's Grandpa. Hi, Grandpa. Good to see you. So we can't go up at all. This is this is the limit right here. Right then. Get more wood. We are powerlessly low on wood. Very low. Some more seeds and stuff. Okay. Aha! Another seed. The mahogany is real. Breaking some stuff. Alright, you need to go away now. Are you also a little... What is, what is this? There we go. Fine, I will have some more mayonnaise. We're only going to have one, though, just in case. Right. Now, this is going to be tricky to get these trees up here, I think. Without all the wood just falling into the river. <laughs> that being said, I really like this area up here. And, uh... What are we gonna use? What do I want to use this for? I feel like we should like decorate this somehow, or or use it for something. I'm not sure what yet, but we'll use it for something. Now, did we miss any stumps on this side of the farm? Oh yeah, well there's a couple. Okay. quite a few actually now to get rid of the rest of this stuff I think we need an iron pickaxe and I think we need an iron axe that uh, at 5,000 each is sort sort of tricky it's gonna have to do a lot more fishing I think okay now, somebody wanted a grape, and I said, well, maybe there's one down in the woods. And let's just go run through, and maybe we can find one. And if we see any, uh, any bushes that we can swipe and try and get some mixed seeds from for the fall, I will do so. I believe that you are a rock. Yes, and over here, oh, there's another rock. And you are a wood. Okay. Another stone there. Clearing things up. That's what we like to do. And here are some bushes. Right, mixed seeds. Beautiful. Got some more of those. Oh, I think there might be some up here too. Hello? No? Guess not. 10.30, getting late. Anybody see a grape? I have not seen one. Hello? Hello, grapes? Do you exist over here? Hello? Hello? Oh, there's a sweet pea over here. <gasps> We've got something to th sleep on. So picking up that one last piece of forage is what put us, put us over the edge for level 5. Okay. I'm not complaining about that. I just think it's funny. 
I would like a grape. Hello, grape grapes. You're purple and delicious. You make tasty beverages. And dogs should not eat them because it's very bad for them. They can get very, very sick and die. Don't ever give your dog a grape or a raisin. Raisins are even worse because it concentrates the things that dogs shouldn't have in the grape. Obviously. Uh, so, yeah, so don't do that. It's, it's bad for your poochie. Bad for the poochie. Don't do it. Run! Run, Hilhelm. It is after 12. The hour of lateness has arrived. Nobody wants to be late. To bed. Late to bed and early to rise is the story of my life. Story of my life. Beautiful. Where are we putting mix seeds? Over there. So we have... Oh, you're in that chest. Well, that explains everything, doesn't it? I would like to plant those somewhere. Not sure where. Oh, we have 40 hardwood, though. That's nice. Okay, that's a good number. That's a good number. We're going to save this sampling till we get the greenhouse. Just put it right in the greenhouse. Okay. Time for the bed. Go to sleep, yes. Right. More wood. Tempting. Double harvest. Awesome. Uh, this is pretty good early on when you just need more wood. You know, like when you're building all your stuff. It's really not bad. And if you're on a normal playthrough where you get lots of income, uh, then you just spend the 10k once you get enough wood for most of your upgrades and switch back over to Gatherer. I am just going to stay with Gatherer, I think. Um, and go from there. Okay, so that is another thousand. I think... I still don't think we have enough to get cows. I think you... Uh, well, we'll check. We'll check. But until then, everybody. Hey, thanks for hanging out with me. Appreciate having y'all here. Going to do a little bit more research on a couple things and see what might be the best route forward. If I want the pickaxe or the axe, I'm leaning towards the pickaxe because then we can get gold easier. And with gold and iron, we can get sprinklers. I think that's important because then we'll have energy to do things like just run around and chop down trees. So that's the thought. We'll see where that ends up going. Yeah, have a great day. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.